<laughs> that didn't work for you, did it? It's just, it is what it is. And, and I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to find that, okay, 
that I didn't lose that pound that I gained. So that means my maintenance calories aren't quite where I thought they were. So it's just, it's balance. It's balance. And I've never been good at balance. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there and I will. But I wanted to check in with you guys and let you know, yes, got the vacation weight off. I'm doing the maintenance thing. It's weird. It's so weird. It is. That's something I've never, like I follow a lot of weight loss stuff on Instagram and YouTube and, and I guess I've never watched like the videos that talk about if there are any, I don't know. I'm sure there are. There has to be. This can't be. I'm not the only person who has experiences. But how weird it is that I'm no longer stepping on the scale every week expecting it to go down. I'm no longer being that calorie crunching, you know, it, it's just, it's weird. It's weird and it's a lot. It's, it's, because I didn't know I was there until I saw pictures of myself and that was weird too. Like the whole, the whole thing is just weird. Body dysmorphia is a thing. It is a thing. And I was talking to my friend who um, had weight loss surgery a while back and she had lost, I don't know, a lot of weight. And I'm like, when do you stop? When do you see it? Like, when do you, when do you see it? Like, I can see it. I was trying to explain it to my husband. Okay, I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry, but you, you, if you've been here a while. You know that's that's what I do. I was trying to explain it to my husband <laughs> because he doesn't know what body dysmorphia is. He doesn't know how it f***s with your brain. And so I was like, well, I can see it when I look in the mirror or when I look at pictures of myself, I can see it. Like I can see obviously that I've lost 135 pounds. I'm not stupid. But when I live my day to day life, I don't feel it. I don't feel like I'm 270 pounds anymore. But I also don't feel like I'm 140 pounds. I'm somewhere in between in my head. So I guess that tells me it's eventually going to catch up because it's caught up to the middle point, I guess. I don't know. It's so hard to explain to somebody who has not gone through it. But I can look in the mirror and see it some days. I can look in the mirror and not see it some days. Pictures are different. Pictures are always a shock. Pictures are... Especially if I haven't seen the picture before, a friend took it, my husband took it, and I'm in either showing it to me, and I'm always like, oh my god. That's always a, a shock. So I try to keep some of those on my phone just to remind myself. <laughs> like when I'm feeling, when I'm having a bad day, I'll whip out my phone and be like, hey, but... So... I don't know what's weird, but I was talking to my friend who had lost much weight. I'm like, when? When do you? She said it took her about uh, a year and a half to two years before she could really accept and see it. I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna, I know it's gonna take a while, obviously. But if it's, that would be about right because if I'm at the halfway point in my brain, then. If that's a year and a half, right? So, yeah. Oof. It's so weird. It's so weird. I know I just keep saying that, but it is. And there's, there's no better word to describe it than weird. Bizarre, maybe. It's just the same as weird. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I'm gonna take a walk around the little neighborhood around it first. I woke up this morning and I was not feeling like working out. And I and I never do. Once I get once I get into the workout, then I'm always into it. And I usually go longer than I sit. I, I have to bargain with myself. You just do this much. See how you feel. 
and then I do that much and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm good, let's go, let's keep going. So, but this morning I was like, mm. I don't, usually I'll do my at-home workouts, which is the bulk of my workout, and then I'll hop on the treadmill to round it out. I was like, I don't wanna do the treadmill today. It's such a gorgeous day. Why don't I just go for a walk before the store? And then that made my workout that much easier because I was like, I don't need, I don't have that treadmill dread. Because before my vacation, my treadmill was not dread because I would put on Europe concerts and I would watch those while working on the treadmill and that was something to look forward to. And now that the vacation's over and the concerts are over, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a letdown now. I still love, you know, to watch their videos, but it's like, I'm not gonna go see that now. Sad. Sad Kelly. Sad Kelly. But, but it is amazing that it happened. And I'm still on a high from the whole singing thing with the group. But it's just a little bit sad that I don't have that to look forward to. Oh well. Alright, well I just wanted to check in with you guys. For now, I guess I'm just going to keep checking in with you guys every so often. No more weekly weigh-ins until I maybe start to think about getting down to 130. And I may not. I may decide that this is where I want to live. We'll see. But, yeah. Y'all know I'm not a good vlogger on a on a good day, so I uh, I could lie to you and say I'm gonna make I'm gonna make vlogs like what I eat a day and and a uh, day in the life and all that crap. But do we really think that she gonna do that? No, no, we we really don't. But I can try. I can do it one occasionally. But that's all I got for now. So if you have enjoyed any part of this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.